the week is this going by so fast tomorrow it is friday scary how fast it goes but you know what a military soldier well is being disciplined they don't know if they're going to court martial him or if he's going to be going to <clears throat> lock up but he was actually upset with his commander so he decided to urinate <clears throat> in the uh, coffee maker <laughs> boy I tell you, they, people come up with the most ingenious places to store things for other people's consumption, unbeknownst to the consumer. So I, I got a feeling that the guy, the sergeant or his commander there, was not very happy at all, to say the least. I don't think so. You know, back years ago, I knew somebody, a lady, that was upset with her boss. And you know what? She probably saw it from a YouTube thing. But she decided she was going to urinate in our boss's coffee pot. Oh, my God. And she did. And then she made the coffee. And, well, the funny thing is that the boss, Ed, came back and said, you know what? Can you make the coffee like this on a regular basis? This is the best coffee you've ever made. <laughs> I, I honestly went into the bathroom. And I, I, I honestly heaved my guts up. Oh, Gary, I I'll tell you, that is, uh, wow. That's almost, you know, that reminds me of your buddy there that was getting the free meals, the steaks, at the restaurants, remember? Oh, yeah, and then my two buddies, Greek guys, he complained about their food, and then they took that big uh, porterhouse steak, tossed it on the ground, and I'm not going to talk about what they did, okay? I, I won't be able to sleep again. But he thought it was one of the best takes he ever had, too. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's, you know, I don't know. Did you hear about oh, the, the lady that when she urinates, she's urinating alcohol? Oh, I briefly heard something about that. But I got to tell you, she, she might be a mobile brewery from the sounds of this. Tell me more. Well, from what the article said, that her her kidneys and bladder is a, a fermenting place to t convert, you know, she's diabetic, number one. And two, she's probably not, they said, following the routine of taking care of herself. Right. And with her other condition, everything she drinks, well, guess what? It kind of goes in and gets converted into because of the, the amount of sugar she takes in. Don't forget it, you know, your body produces sugar and what it does, it, it the same way you make beer, you know, you put it in the crock and let it, you know, ferment. Well, that's what it's doing in her bladder and, you know, and she's urinating straight alcohol. Wow. You know, again, being diabetic, her organs probably getting real hot because her blood sugar is getting high and they're not working right. And it's getting sugar in with it it's sitting there and it's fermenting and fermenting instead of the organs processing it as quick as they should and yes yeah, she's probably not she needs probably it can't be healthy for i wouldn't think no it is not healthy the fact they you know to do that no it's it, yeah you know, but yeah you know, i i don't know how, how would you sit there and oh boy well, i mean just think well, about that i mean she's a walking wouldn't brewery that, <laughs> wouldn't that burn I don't know. I don't ever have had the condition to find out. <laughs> I don't want to find out. You know what? If you're one of these fake people that post up on YouTube and Facebook and always showing pictures of like your living room or your bedroom or you're going to these fancy hotels. Well, one of the YouTubers came out and she said, well, she takes her vacation. Hint, hint, joke, joke at Ikea. And then takes all these pictures and they're set up, you know, with all their fancy, you know, furniture and rooms and stuff like that. And then posts it up on YouTube and Facebook and lets people think that she's in all these fancy places when, the, in fact, it's done at I Ikea. Yeah, she went to like, you know, a furniture store and other places and just kind of sat on these new couches. And, and yeah. so now, yeah, so now we're all her friends when they give her the, what is called the hate likes. They, they don't like it, which they're jealous or envious, but they still like it, but it's a hate-like. So now she exposed herself. 
So now she's going to get the laughing emojis. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you imagine the royal family? The royal family, the Queen of England, and all her, you know, relatives. Their website was hacked. Oh, boy. And people were going on to the royal website. And you know what they were seeing? Hardcore oh, porn. Uh oh. Who who whose computer was it on? <laughs> I don't know. No, I know it's not their computer. If you yourself would log on to the royal website to see what oh, the queen is doing or going to be doing or their family, you know, yeah. you you didn't yeah. get to see that. You instead you you were seeing porn. You got to see what the hacker put in there to uh, to smirch the name of the royals. Yeah, well, evidently, you know, what's going on comes around. I don't know. Can you believe an ousted police chief was so pissed off? Now he decides he's going to walk home. But before he walks home, he takes his shirt off. Oh, no. <laughs> takes his T-shirt off. Removes his pants. Takes his socks off takes his shoes off and walks home in his underpants. Well, he went from not personating an officer to just, um, what is that called? Uh, indecent exposure from the sound. Well, no, I just still not indecent exposure because he was covering up his genitalia. So I mean, but you know what? This is a chief of police. He was ousted. Oh. He was fired. So he was so pissed off. He, okay, you want my uniform? You want my badge? Here it all is. And he walked home in his underpants. <laughs> he made, he's a that's a man of principles right there. Now I mean, to, and a little stubborn, I would say too. Well, you know how you like Florida, and you love snakes, <laughs> right? You love snakes so oh. much. Well, I you know it. what? Have you ever seen a snake orgy? <laughs> Even I, I, I tell you, James. Even snakes need love. You know that. <laughs> I mean, they no, they need to feel guy. loved. Well, guess what? A section of a park in Lakeland, Florida, had to be shut down. Why? Because they had to make room for this huge, huge snake orgy. <laughs> You know, I don't know how to admit this, but I have seen two snake orgies in my day. One of them was a rattlesnake orgy. They were down in a pit. And another one was a garter snake. No, garter snake orgies are, oh, my goodness. All it takes is a, a one one female in heat, and there'll be a thousand garter snake males, and they're usually smaller, and they're all slamming on each other. It's a bizarre thing to see, Gary. Now, this was a large, large amount of slittery water snakes in fact Ooh. there's a video of it and the, i tell you what the, if you ran across this i tell you what you'd be running out of there scared <laughs> you know what i wouldn't be i wouldn't be hanging around i i still having flashbacks I, look i still check my pillowcase i check the toilet i, I check my stove you've got me checking everywhere in my house before i do anything well a librarian in california got busted not for stealing books or giving discounts on, you know, charges of fines. After hours, she was shooting porn in the library. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, so let me get this straight. She was like the producer and the director and the writer. And she was bringing in some actors and making a film. I, the way I take that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, here's a couple, man and wife, that are really upset because they're trying to put a canal project in next to their property. So what they do is they bring their bed out, put it next to where they're having the groundbreaking. And when the crowd got there, they saw this naked couple. Couple. Couple laying naked on the bed with a sign that says love the canal. <laughs> well, that's kind of a play on words, isn't it? Oh, boy. Love the canal. Well, wow, wow. Okay, I'm just going to take their word 
<laughs> okay, well, Maybe. guess what? You know, I now I'm really worried about fast food. Oh Here, no! Is, well, I won't say the name of the chain, but it was named after Dave's daughter. Uh, but don't say the name. But I'm sure you can figure it out. Oh yeah, I know because I found it right here where I live in the state. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? One of the workers decided to take a bath in the dishwashing sink. Oh, why? Oh, why? Oh boy! Of all the places, maybe because he wanted bath, to. He... Maybe he needed a bath. Yeah, man. He's a maybe. He's a spontaneous. A bath washer, and he's very conscious of his cleanliness. You know, uh, maybe he went in the restroom, and they tell you to wash your hands, and maybe he just felt, you know, what I need to just wash all over. <laughs> I, I don't, don't know, but they they wash the utility, you know, utensils and stuff that they you know make the food with, and that's <laughs> really really bad. Yeah, it's bad. You got now. You, I got to tell you, Gary, you're making me second guess going to any fast food place here in, in the near future. Well, you know what's really bad to YouTube and Instagrammer, you know, guys that have their show, decided mm-hmm. they were going to do a prank. Not a good prank to do. Uh, oh they boy. get on the subway, a New York subway in hazmat outfits, right? Oh, boy. With a container. It says, you know what? <laughs> you know? And oh, pe- oh. It, it, and And, yeah, people were scared, like mad, because they see these two guys in the outfits, right? And then they see the thing that says danger, caution, all this stuff on this container they're carrying. And one of them drops it in, a, in you know, a container. Tubes of liquid comes out and breaks. And one of them says, oh, my God, the virus now is escaped. Here, here's a hundred and some people on the subway. What would you think? Well, I'm going to tell you something. I've been in New York City many times. I've been on the subway. Um, those people, if they found out, even if they didn't find out they did a prank, because somebody out of 100, the odds are going to be good that somebody in New York City subway is going to have the attitude, you know what, i got nothing left to lose now, I'm going to take you out for doing that. And then if they find out you're joking, they might smack you around just for doing it too. So I don't see the people doing the joke. Well, if it, I, Listen, that's that's not worked on you because it's going to end up bad for them. Well, they were, the they were filming it, okay? And they figured, oh, you know, that... By doing this little prank, they would put it up on Instagram and YouTube, and it would freak out people. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. You know how many people yeah. right now just thinking about that virus? And then let them think, oh, my God, they had the virus in test tubes and and, and, and is now exposed to everybody in that subway car. I could, you know, I, I, I people... They they show they show a video of it that they shot and people were, I mean, screaming and panicking and trying to get off a moving subway car train. Yeah, yeah, just reminded me of the old thirty nine Orson Welles thing. You know, you can have people react differently. Somebody could actually die trying to run off that subway moving train, or give somebody a heart attack, or who knows. But I'll tell you, um, you know, that could have caused a lot of grief and a harm to people with their reactions. I wonder if they'll be charged because you know what? You just said it right. There's, you don't know somebody's health condition. Somebody could have extreme bad heart. They get scared like that and they could drop over like that. And now you're responsible for their death. Oh, absolutely. You are. And not only that, it's premeditated. It's not like you did this on the spur of the moment. You took the time to think this out, get the uniforms, the bucket right on the bucket was going to film it and everything. That is that is they're really going to nail you to the wall. Now, it wasn't a bucket. It was a a closed container. You know, it said it said hazardous bio, you know, waste, caution, you know, all that stuff. Well, you know what? McDonald's now is offering scented candles. If you like the smell of their burgers, you'll love the smell of their candles. Oh, boy. 
Oh boy! I, imagine if the other their competition had one out that said uh, 